I just want to take a moment today to say that I hope that everyone had a Merry Christmas and to show everyone what I got for Christmas. All my friends and relatives finally got it right this year and bought me gift certificates to the correct gun shop instead of all of them buying it to different gun shops. So I was able to go out and purchase one of these. And as you can see, it's a Sig Sauer. But the model it is, is the Sig Sauer P320. But this just isn't the regular P320. This is the SIG P320RX. As you can see, this is the one that comes with a little Romeo red dot sight. And as you can see, the sight is integrated into the frame. The frame is cut for the sight. It comes with a little cap here you gotta take off to actually use the sight. I don't know if you're supposed to use that while you're carrying it or not, I wouldn't. And I'm not sure how well you can see here on camera, but the sight itself actually has a little slot down it so you can co-witness with the raised night sights that come on the gun. Now to turn it on the first time, you just gotta push either one of these buttons here. These buttons control the intensity of the red dot for indoors or outdoors. I always just leave it on kind of bright, shortens the battery life, but you never know if you're gonna be indoors and outdoors and you can see the bright light indoors, but you can't see the dim light outdoors. So I always just leave it on the outdoor setting. I'm not sure how well the dot will show up on camera, but as you can see here, you can see the little red dot and you can see you can co-witness with your regular sights. Now in the past, I've always said, I'm not sure what good these are on a pistol, you know, cause you're usually shooting up close, but you know, I had so many people contact me and say, you have to try it. They're amazing on a pistol. If you've never tried it, don't knock it. You know, and I've shot guns with these on them before, but I've never owned one. So I thought, well, you know, I better put my money where my mouth is and go out and get one and give it a try. Now, as far as price goes, this gun isn't as expensive as you might think. The SIG P320, or the PIG320 as I always end up calling it, is a gun that is easily, in my opinion, better than a Glock. But if you break down the price of this gun, the gun itself was $750 with the sight. So you gotta figure these sights are $250, $300 by themselves. So that leaves you paying about $450 to $500 for the gun. You pay more for that than a Glock, and this gun, like I said, is in pretty much every way better than a Glock. So paying $750 for this gun with the raised night sights, the relief cut on the slide, the sight itself, you know, all of that makes it well worth the money. It's actually a bargain if you ask me. I looked at the MOS Glocks and to put an MOS Glock together with the same configuration of this, with the upgraded sights, you know, the relief cut slide, which comes on the MOS and the sight itself, you're looking at 900 to a thousand dollars. For this, you got all of it for 750. And like I said, it's a better gun. Now I did make one change to it. I put a flat faced apex trigger on it here. I had that wait in Sunday when I got the gun. Now I'm gonna be taking this to the range over the next couple of weeks and firing it quite a bit. I wanna see how well this sight actually helps me in acquiring a target. I'm gonna do a lot of target shooting where I don't actually use my sights. I'm gonna shoot, you know, a little bit off kilter to where I only see the red dot and don't co-witness or anything. Of course, I am gonna do some co-witnessing to test it out, but I wanna see if this actually would give me a tactical advantage in a gunfight. And if it does, I'll be more than willing to eat my words and say that maybe these things are a good idea on handguns. But until then, we'll just have to wait and see. Oh, and one more thing I wanted to say today. A lot of people were wondering, where was the video with Gary on Christmas? Wasn't there supposed to be a video with Gary on Christmas? Well, I tried to do a video with Gary on Christmas, but it didn't quite work out the way I'd planned. Okay, I brought you in here today because we're going to do a little Christmas card for all of our viewers that have been wanting to see you again. No, that is not because you're the star of the show. You are not the star of the show. You're the sidekick. I'm the star of the show. No, more people do not like you than like me. That's ridiculous. Well, regardless, we're going to do this card today. I got these antlers. I got a little red bulb we can stick at the end of your barrel to make you look like Rudolph. And I got a candy cane you can eat. No, it will not look stupid. It'll look adorable. So you put these on. Put them on. Don't shove me. How do you like it? Put them on. Gary, I'm warning you. <coughs> All right, that's it. <coughs> you little bastard. And trust me, you don't want to know where he put the candy cane. real day.